Hey YouTube, I have a Goal Zero Yeti 1250 and when I bought it I didn't know what all the ports on it were for. Up at the top it has several input ports which I believe are 8mm and Anderson pole connector which I use to plug in the, the AC power adapter that came with it. Can plug into there. My cigarette lighter adapter can plug into here and my solar panels can plug into here. Over here we have three AC ports for plugging in things that you would normally plug into your wall or your house. Over here there are three USB ports. This is a normal 12 volt cigarette lighter kind of thing. These two are six millimeter outputs, which I want to use to power some lights that I bought on eBay. These are LED lights. And this is an Anderson pole connector output which I'm using to power a ceiling fan in my van. So ceiling fan, one of these I want to use for the LED lights. This powers my Dometic cooler and that's what I'm using this battery for. And the battery's kind of insufficient to power everything I have. So I'm actually going to buy a second battery that gets chained to this battery. Let me show you what I had to do to use these to power these, these lights. So I had a really hard time finding a six millimeter 12 volt DC power cable that was six millimeter male on one end and bare wires on the other end because my lights have just two bare wires that I need to connect to this thing. So I looked all over Goal Zero's website and I even wrote to them and I said, do you have a cable that has a six millimeter on one end and bare wires on the other end? And they said, no. So then I wrote to them and said, well, if I bought one of these cables, could I cut it off and have two bare wires on the end? And they said, yes. I was debating on whether to get this one with the alligator things on the ends and cut these off, which was $8.79, or this one, which was only $6.99. So I wrote to them and asked them, if I cut this off, will I have two wires on the inside like I have two wires here? And they said, yes. And then one guy said, it's coax. So I didn't really know what that meant, so I bought the cable anyway, and I cut the end off, and then I stripped the wires back, and I was hoping to see like two cables, like a red and a black, but instead there's essentially like a sheathing around the outside and a cable in the middle. So what I did was I twisted the sheathing up to make it into kind of like a cable, and then I stripped the inner wire and then I twisted that up because that was just a bunch of individual little wires. Then I took the LED light and attached the red wire to the inner cable and the black wire to the outer sheathing. Then I plugged the cable with the end that's not cut off into the goal zero, turned the power on, and then turned the 12 volt on and the light lit up. Check it out. So one thing that's kind of strange is if I push the 12 volt on button, my light turns on, which I would expect. But if I push the 12 volt button off, the light still stays lit up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it stays lit up. If I turn the power off, the light still stays lit up. Just a little bit, not full blown lit up. So if I unplug it, the light totally goes off. That's kind of weird. So the goal zero is giving power even when you power it off and shut the 12 volt off. So that's about it for this video. And I hope that gives you an idea of what you have to go through to plug something other than a standard goal zero product into your Yeti 1250. Thanks for watching.